today we're going to go over how to draw monster folds kind of this kind of monster this kind of aspect of monsters right so when, when you're kind of drawing a monster design whether it be different ones there's a lot of different things too you can draw like uh, you know technical aspects you can draw like you know weird rusty nails in there you can draw i mean if you want to do like horrific ones what's it going to be like horror based or is it going to be more um or is it going to be more kind of like science fiction based? Is it going to be more alien? Is it going to be more, you know, like I said, uh, earth bound, earth based, you know, what is it? <laughs> All right. And this one I'm thinking more ghost based, uh, but that's just my, you know, and I'll go over those in, in, a, in another video. But right now I'm going to go over specifically the folds and people kind of notice this too. These kind of little rivets that make things look organic, right? look way more organic. And I go over kind of just how to do that with a pen or pencil, mostly pen. I'm just going to go over because if you do it like this and pen, it's a uh, same in pencil. So what I did was I drew these out and I'm going to look at these folds right here on this face. This kind of oogie boogie squishy head. Uh, what makes that look organic, right? It's the kind of, but it makes it look organic, but I also want to make sure it's structured, right? Like it has some sort of maybe skeletal structure underneath with a, kind of uh, base around it so like the skeleton underneath has to be solid because that's a big part of it if you don't understand how to make something more structured and solid it's not gonna really look good it's gonna look like mashed potatoes you know so you're thinking of this solid base whatever that is whether it be a skull or something like that you're thinking of something hard underneath with how skin is gonna hang off of that how would skin if you had draped a cloth over it right? How is that going to hang off of this uh, solid structure? And that's what I'm thinking of here. I'm thinking of the squishy softness, which would be skin based. And that would kind of hang and pull down because gravity is going to be pulling down on this. So the flat part is going to be the top, right? Which is, you know, on, on the skull, on the cheekbone. And then gravity below will be pulling down on it with small folds here. Uh, for the actual folds, let's say in this situation, I want to make them random as well. And what I'm going to show you first of all structurally how I do this with pen, and I'm going to blow it up. So let's say that's a fold, right? I do this kind of cross hatching, small tiny cross hatching to show the form off. Meaning, if you were to draw a straight line down, let me grab a different pencil so I can show you this. <clears throat> so let's say I. Um, if I was to look at the surface in 3D, let's say the surface is like this. Like we're they're taking our own specific. So let's say that surface is like that. You have to imagine that that surface is going to be making that shape, right? Light is going to be hitting usually light is usually coming from above. Hitting this, it's causing this small shadow pattern to form here. Let's say this as well, see, if, if there's a fold right here. You're going to have these like rolls, meaning light is going to be hitting the top part of this bulge. And it's going to be slightly, it's going to be going around and light will not be hitting this bottom part. Obviously there's degrees to that too. See, this is a slight, I'm putting a very slight line as well. The line's a little bit lighter, it's a little bit flatter. Um, <clears throat> it's a little bit slighter, it's a little flatter. So, like I said, that that's going to, like these right here, they're going to vary in degrees, right? Just like an organic object, especially if you look at this right here. This bulges out a little bit, and then it really bulges it out as it hits the bottom, like this kind of Play-Doh. And so another thing I want to talk to you about is when it comes to this. This is just to kind of demonstrate <coughs> what's going on. But you don't want to make them all look like stripes because you, you run that risk of making it look like stripe pattern. The way you have to do that is you have to vary these up. Meaning, if I was to look at this, I'm going to make this come out a little bit. It's going to come out into two parts. Did 
This comes down to one. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm trying, this one's a little bit longer. Right here, this little fold is a little bit longer. You can't make them, uh, a big part of organic is that they're not uh, repetitive shapes per se. You know, you have to make them look uh, random. Uh, and the way to do that, like I said, is to shorten some, lengthen others, make some wider, make some thinner. You can, that's what I do all over this guy's face right here. Is I'm going to make some things pop out right here, pop out. I'm going to put some small gradation, right? Like some lights hitting it. Then I'm going to make some longer, some shorter. But I also don't want to fill it up. Because filling it up is going to overcomplicate the, the organic kind of object. Now, if this doesn't make sense, please tell me in the comments, guys. I really want to go into this stuff like super hardcore in depth. Uh, like I said, I really, I, I don't know if I could do that without some feedback from you guys. So I really want to start taking feedback and uh, answering it in later later videos. Uh, but like I said, if you like this video so far, like the kind of way I'm doing this, like more of a kind of a class, like more of a uh, very specific, we're taking something very specific and trying to analyze it maybe too much. Um, you know I mean, if you like that kind of thing, press the like button so I know what to do. You know what I mean? It'll give me a direction for the channel. I'm going to start taking the channel a different direction. Uh, more like in this direction. So, let's go to this guy right here. You have this kind of bodied kind of thing, this hanging thing. And I always remember the thing from Pacific Rim. You know that movie with Guillermo del Toro? Uh, the movie with Guillermo del Toro really kind of... Uh, he talks about it too. He likes this kind of old lady hanging thing. If you look at old lady's arms, sometimes her skin hangs. Uh, off the arm area and he wanted that for the monsters you know he wants that kind of hanging gross kind of look and like I said just makes it look cool in a monster design it really does because it makes it look real and relatable and something that you've seen in real life um, but same concept I'm throwing these lines down to show off a small bit of form see I'm showing the form here and then okay let me point at it with this so right here, you're showing off the form as it's turning, right? And then right here, there's nothing. There's really nothing. It's blank. That blank is your mind kind of filling that in. Like you know that, okay, this is going to, this would be a turning form right there, you know? Because like, you know which way this is going. So this right here leads you, it leads your eye into another kind of shape into another thing that will tell you about form, right? This leads you here, this leads you down here, this leads you over there. You're kind of leading the eye around and then catching it. Um, and that's kind of the way I go about just uh, kind of doing organic things, you know? Uh, m like specifically monsters. Monsters are very organic. Not only do I like, there's another reason why I like drawing monsters. You can just make it up. You just make it up. Your creativity goes crazy. Um, you know, it is kind of easy in some ways if you already kind of know anatomy enough. Uh, but that's the way I go about it. Please, if you have any questions, let me know. This is just, we're just going over kind of the organicness of it. How do you make something look organic? You know, how do you make it look like uh, that kind of thing. And th this is what I do personally. Uh, like I said, please ask me questions. I want to back and forth on this. I really want to kind of kick this off uh, really strong. And I want to make these, you know, really good for you guys. So anyways, thanks a lot.